Okay, so let's have a look at voice typing. So I'm going to be using a word processor for this example. And in this case, I'm using LibreOffice Writer. It can be any kind of word processor that you have. So here we are. If I right click, you can see that I don't have any options here for voice typing. Fortunately, Windows has it built into it, Windows 10 and 11. What we need to do is go to the keyboard down on the bottom left of your keyboard you should see a key that looks like the windows logo that's your windows key so what we want to going to do is press and hold that down as well as the h key at the same time now before you do that just a word of caution the app when it starts will turn the microphone on straight away okay so it'll record anything that you're going to say as soon as you press the windows and the h key so when I turn this on, you're going to notice it pop up in the bottom right of the screen. And there we go. It now tells us that it is listening. And now it's telling us that some voice typing features might not work in this app. So just to be aware that it's not going to be that great. You, you may have to do some editing. Now the more eagle-eyed amongst you will probably notice that there's something missing from this and that is punctuation. So how are we going to turn this on? So if we go to the settings, which is next to the microphone, click on that and we can see two toggle switches up the top here. One is voice typing launcher, so if we turn that on, it means we don't have to keep pressing the Windows key and the H key quite so often. Then we have automatic punctuation. This is very handy. It does do the basic stuff. If you need to do any other punctuations, then uh, you need to go to the Windows, to the official Windows, and download the uh, cheat sheet on how to use different type of uh, punctuations. But let's give this a try now. Let's come down. And now you will notice that as I'm talking, it's going to start typing and it will also put in the punctuation for us. So there we go. come out of this now as i mentioned we also have notepad which is a, a text editor it will work in that as well again no right click so what we do is we'll click on the microphone in the app here which is now because we've turned toggled it on we don't have to press the windows and h key anymore it's down here so let's give that a try notepad is a good text editor And also Microsoft also comes with WordPad, which is a next step up from a uh, text editor and is a uh, one step down from perhaps a, a fully, a fully blown word processor. It's kind of uh, got everything that you need for a basic editor. So here we go, WordPad. So as we can see, it's going to look just like a full blown word processor, but you'll notice that there are some key differences. So it's got more than WordPad, but not as much as a fully blown word processor. Again, I can right click. You'll see that I can't use voice typing. So we come back down to here. WordPad is really good in between if you can't afford to have a word processing program uh, or if you feel that text editor is a bit too basic
There we go. Now one more thing, or two more things actually. So the next one will be in a web browser. So we can click in the, uh, the search tab here. And in this case, we can right click and you can see that voice typing appears. Now it's not going to uh, control the, the, uh, the computer. You're still going to have to click enter. YouTube. So let's come down and click YouTube. Here we go, there's YouTube. Now while we're in YouTube, it could, doesn't have to be YouTube, it can be a, a web form. So say you're trying to fill in uh, an application form or anything like that. Again, you can use this to do your typing for you. The Aspie world. And here we can see that we can now go to wherever we want to. But that's not all. We've got one more thing, and that is the email. So the other thing is we can use it in an email as well. So let's open this up. Now I'm using a Mozilla Thunderbird. You can use whatever email client that you prefer. One of the weaknesses of this voice typing is to do with email addresses. And let me just show you what I mean. So here I am, it ticked in the, uh, clicks into the to section of an email address. Info at sign hyphen post dot info. And as you can see from the email address, it's got part of it right, but it hasn't got the, the hyphen in between sign and post. So that's, that's where it can kind of fall down. But at the same time, it does save you a lot of typing. So we can click into the subject line. This is a test email. Click into the main body. I'm using this email as a test subject. And there we go. So I hope you found that helpful. If you found that helpful, then please give us a thumbs up, like this video, and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.